Hi there, Tony Sycamore here, IG's market analyst for Australia. Well, it's happening again. Bitcoin surged above $35,000 yesterday. For the first time since May 2020, 2022, around the time of the Terra and Luna meltdown, which preceded that sell down towards $15,479 back in November 2020-22. The rally in Bitcoin over the past fortnight has been driven by expectations that a Bitcoin ETF will soon be approved before year end, bringing more institutional players into the crypto space. BlackRock, the world's largest fund manager, applied in June to register a Bitcoin spot ETF. And if approved, it would certainly bring a new sense of legitimacy to the crypto space. Given that approval is not a given and may still be many months away, it is important, as always, to safeguard our views against the charts. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin charts now, starting with the weekly chart, which you can see here on the chart before you. As we can see here, Bitcoin made a high of $69,000 back in November 2020-21, be falling down to this low here in November 2020-22. It then proceeded to trace out a rounded bottom before finding itself comfortably entrenched in a new range between 32,000 and 25,000. There's that 25,000 level I'm talking about. And then up here is the range highs, which Bitcoin really traded between April of this year and then, of course, past week, week and a half. After breaking out of these range highs, the picture now becomes a little bit more impulsive. You can see the rally over the past week and a half has been almost parabolic, extreme oversold readings here from the RSI do strike a warning sign in some respects. But we do need to be open-minded and, and to the fact that Bitcoin could extend its rally. And in terms of where Bitcoin could get to, well, look no further than the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement coming in around 35,900. If you just let me shift back to the weekly chart, you can see that this Fibonacci comes from this 69,000 high down to this 15,479 low. Not far above this 35,900 area, where well, you can also see there is a 50% Fibonacci retracement of the entire bear market coming in around 42,000. So they are two levels, really important levels for me that you need to keep in mind. In terms of where Bitcoin shouldn't go now to the downside, if this is a legitimate break higher and not just the market getting ahead of itself, it shouldn't retrace back down below these old highs coming in around 32,000. To thirty thousand dollars area. So while above here, we need to be, uh, we need to allow this rally to, I guess, firstly correct and to work off some of these overbought readings. But then that would set the stage for another leg higher, providing we don't trade back down below this thirty-two thousand to thirty thousand support area. Thank you for listening and have a good day. 